Hello! Now we're continuing our series of videos uh, comparing programming the STM32 uh, in comparison to ESP32 in ESP IDF environment. And uh, it's uh, quite fascinating for me the differences of uh, the code writing. Uh, I didn't expect it. In this particular video, we will send the UART message from the STM32 board to the ESP32 and present it on the screen. Uh, what will be our setup? Uh, two boards are connected via USB to the PC and this is enables us to flash them and uh, write the code on the PC and automatically flash the, flash the code. Also, uh, two boards are connected with three wires and I will specify in which way. In uh, the ST, ST site, uh, we can download the uh, charts uh, of the board so we can uh, follow which pin is relevant to which uh, enumeration and here I downloaded uh, such a PDF file and just uh, as a snippet I want to show you the connection of the PA9 for example the pin numbers that is written on the STM32 chip and D8 which is the number which is written on the board so you can see the three uh, pin numbers that I have worked with the actual connection now you can see is the two those two boards is the RxTX connection here in D2 and D8 this here and here and here you can see the abbreviation and we connected to it to the appropriate uh, TX0 and the RX0 uh, uh, UART connection on the ESP32 also the ground uh, pins were connected now let's create the project in uh, the cube ID environment which will send the UART message so we start with file a new STM project and the interesting thing uh, that the this editor this kind of liberated Eclipse editor is writing a code for himself and uh, uh, we have only limited space to write our own code here in the STM file, STM32 philo philosophy maybe we should better say ST philosophy and the code is written by the machine so we are using we are choosing our board and on the, on the contrary in the ESP IDF you actually write the code by yourself and now we have chosen the board and um, uh, the name will be UART finish okay yes the fir first thing we should define the appropriate pin and the code will be updated o uh, automatically so from one side we have the UART that we are flashing via USB to the board and from the other side we want to define another UART uh, connection which will enable us uh, to connect three pins and flash it directly to and send data directly to the ESP32 board uh, so after the project will be created we will define those pins uh, the old uh, theory here for the setup is different because I am not saving the file on the github code 
because it will be different file for every system on every board of STM32 that you are using. This is uh, my board. And so uh, the showing the actual creation of the project, I think in this case is more uh, helpful. So you see here you have two UARTs, TX and RX. Uh, and those are used for the USB connection and the program actually flashed via those two pins. Now we want to add uh, additional functionality. So we will take this one and uh, define this like, um, excuse me, uh, TX and we will take uh, this one and define it as rx okay as you can see those pins are labeled yellow so they are not defined yet so we're going to connectivity enter the u you are two and check that it is uh, asynchronous and here we are talking regarding a UART1. So also UART1 have to be enabled as a synchronous. The UART2 is those two here. And this is the UART1. And we will not uh, change the other requirements. But we define the UART1. Uh, now let's check that the code is was actually generated and we have two UARTs defined. Uh, here you can see UART1 defined with the proper appropriate initiation function. And here we have UART2 with appropriate uh, initiation function. So the auto-generation auto of those those two UARTs, this one and this one, is working. Now uh, let's go to the beginning of the code. And uh, here inside here, it's very important where you place your code because auto-generation of the code will uh, erase all the different areas we will write our definition of the message here he, here's our message and uh, inside the infinite loop here we will place our uh, whole uh, uart command hull is the hardware abstraction layer so by this layer, every function we are writing on the abstraction layer and uh, on the actual layer, on the actual physical layer, it's transformed to the proper board. So we are not constrained to specific type of the board to write this command. H here we define the UART2. We are actually looking for UART1. This is our uh, uh, message, size of the message, and we will wait for the maximum delay. We will send this uh, command every uh, three seconds. Mm, here, and for three seconds, it will be like this. Uh, so let's save it and compile the code. And flash it on the board. Now let's look on the ESP32 side. 
First, I want to point out that on, in the GitHub, and now you can see the GitHub page on the Sims IoT devices, this is the library, and I will leave the link in the description. You have a code which can read the UART message to the ESP32. Previously, I have a series of videos as a, regarding different UART uh, messages, reading and writing it uh, by ESP32. Uh, I already prepared it in the uh, my editor and created the project like it was done in the previous video. And now let's try to uh, flash the code on the ESP32. The code was uh, compiled okay, but it's, it's having trouble to connect because all the pins are connected according to our drawing. But uh, the reason for this is it's, uh, that the RX pin is connected. So I will detach the RX pin on the ESP32. Now I'm disconnecting the RX pin. Now, when the RX pin um, is disconnected, I can flash my ESP32 and he is fi finding the appropriate COM, COM number 4, and flashing the uh, data. And now I can connect the back the RX pin and now we are getting the messages from STM32 according to our, to our expectation. So in order to summarize, we wrote a program on ESP32, which practically took us three lines of code and took a program on, sorry, we wrote a program on STM32 and took a program which is reading the UART connection on the ESP32, which is like 60 line of codes of code and uh, now we connected between those two boards and sending the UART message from STM32 to ESP32 in ESP IDF environment. Thank you.